Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I have this old pottery kiln here, which I've used in several videos. Unfortunately, the check coil light recently came on. Well, that doesn't look good. So I had an idea. Why don't I use the kiln body to make a gas furnace similar to this one here, just bigger, right? So the idea is that I could just take the parts off of this one and plug it into this somehow. Why wouldn't that work? Just a larger space, take a little longer, a little bit more gas to heat, but ultimately it'll heat to the same amount. So let's do it. Now let's see if I can just have it come straight out the side like this. So let's get my drill in here as close as I can and just punch the hole there. Okay, one of the burners is in. Let's see how it works. Just give me some paper burning. I'll turn on the gas. kilns need a vent for gases to escape so it doesn't build up pressure. An electric kiln, the hole can be tiny, but a gas kiln, the hole has to be pretty large. So I'm going to expand the hole somewhat. I'll save this in case I want to put it back later. Just cram some insulation around the holes to seal it and also lock the pipe in place. Okay, so I've got all four burners installed. There's two propane tanks to fuel them. Let's start turning them on. There's one. something up. I've got everything set up. We did some tests. Now let's see if it's actually useful. So I got a crucible full of bronze, a crucible full of aluminum, and let's see if we can melt them. Okay, we got a piece of paper burning. Turn on the gas. There we go. I'm going to start with one burner. That way I don't heat the crucibles too fast and shock them. And after a few minutes, I'll turn on the other three burners. It's been burning for a few minutes. Let's start turning on the other burners. From the time it took me to set up one of the molds, the aluminum has already melted. That's pretty quick. 
slick. But it doesn't take much to melt that metal anyway. Uh, it's a little warm. I'm going to throw on some gloves and see if I can pull it out of there. Probably have to turn the gas off. Right, let's pop this open. Actually, the bronze is already melting. That was 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can even reach in here. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. As long as I'm wearing gloves. Yeah, see. It is hot though. I don't have a mold in mind for the aluminum. I'm just, I was just seeing if I could melt it. I'm just gonna make ingots. And of course to turn it back on since it's already hot. Let's turn on the gas. <laughs> so fast. I barely got the other mold set up. Okay, I don't know how much of that I filmed, but I think that worked. I was able to pour some bronze in, I probably could have done it in 15 minutes. That's insane. <laughs> uh, I think there's some improvements I could make, but ultimately, yeah, that's good. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.